So we're here at KaiCon 2011 at Startup America booth. I'm talking with Geetha Rao of MyMedFax. Geetha, tell me a little bit about how you started this business. So this was a business that um, I had the idea for about two and a half years ago now. And um, it's at the time I was working with a wonderful diagnostic company uh, that was building a diagnostic for multiple sclerosis. And as we tried to get the diagnostic adopted by the medical establishment, I found that um, it was very difficult. And, and the main reason was that the medical system was happy to treat a patient once symptoms came up. but nobody really was empowered to sort of track the patient and manage the patient over their, uh, the course of their either their disease progression or even their lifetime. And so it occurred to me at the time that there was a real need for some kind of a tool or a service to help individuals manage their own health care. So that's, that's what gave me the idea for the business. Great. And um, what was your first entrepreneurial experience? I think you've talked a little bit about the business. So. so this is this is by no means my first venture. Um, it's my fourth one to be exact. Uh, although I have been also involved in a number of other startups in a in, in advisory or interim executive capacity. So my very first startup was uh, about ten years ago. It was uh, in the education space, and I co-founded a company with a friend in Japan uh, who was teaching English in Japan, and he came up with this idea of offering. Uh, supplementary curriculum materials online and on a mobile platform. Mm -hmm. So this was a long time ago. And to give you an idea about uh, how nascent that field was at the time, uh, I was able to negotiate with Newsweek a year-long contract to use their um, week-old content. It was, a, it was a, by their staff writers. We, could, we couldn't do syndicated stuff, but all their staff writer content, as long as it was a week old, I had unlimited use of it uh, on this site for the sum total of $1,000 for the year. Wow, you got a bang up deal. I did, I had, it was a terrific deal uh, because at that time, uh, I don't think the industry understood the power of the internet and particularly archival information on the internet because we didn't have search at the time. So if it wasn't current content, we thought there was no value to it. Okay, and how, how did you get from content information in, a, in an education company to a medical-related company. Okay, so so I have been in, in the medical technology. Uh, that's my primary professional affiliation. And I've been in that space for more than 15 years and worked in a variety of innovation um, startup areas. Um, the education uh, venture concept was really my co-founder's concept, and he was looking for a business partner. So I was. I, he, he was really the the brains behind the concept itself because he was an educator. Okay. Uh, so that was a, the, a one-off, a good good place to start learning, and then the rest of my uh, venture experience has been in the medical space. So what are some entrepreneurial experiences that really stand out in your mind that you think really helped you learn, grow, um, build your business? Well, um, I think I think perhaps the most um, significant thing that stands out for me is the, the value of your network. Uh, I, I think uh, this is something we do so well in Silicon Valley, is the ability to reach out and find experts, to find advisors, to find contacts uh, who can connect you with the right people or the right resource. Um, and, and, and the thing that's particularly amazing to me is how generous people are with their time and their connections and their advice. And I, I feel like uh, in Silicon Valley, we, we kind of run on what I call karma capital, you know. People give generously to other entrepreneurs and it comes back eventually. Yeah. So. Is there a particular person or event that really stands out in your mind as something that really helped you make that big, great leap forward? Right. Um, you know, I have to say I've been very lucky to have had so many great advisors and mentors that I, I really couldn't... I would not be doing justice to to many people if I were to pick one or two even, uh, and I would say it's not just been individuals. It's been an, it has also been a number of organizations in Silicon Valley, uh, the universities. I work at an incubator, Triple Ring Technologies. Uh, I've worked with a number of investor groups um, and angel groups and venture support organizations. Uh, like Astia, I'll, I'll put in a plug for Astia. It's a women's uh, entrepreneur support group. Uh, so a number of different groups like that. It's been really terrific. Great. 
And uh, are you yourself also an advisor to other startups? I do. I, I feel like that's part of the give back. Uh, every entrepreneur, experienced entrepreneur, I believe, should do that. And uh, yes, I am currently in a, a formally on the advisory board of a handful of startups. Um, and uh, I have been a mentor to several CEOs. Great. So what one piece of advice do you think uh, an entrepreneur needs to know based on the experience and your background? I would say the, the single biggest thing that you have to get used to is failing. <laughs> you, you fail a lot, you have to fail fast. Failure is a way of life. That's, that's the nature of enterprise. And you just have to just get pick yourself up and try again and keep going at it and don't get discouraged. And, uh, and, and what's particularly disheartening sometimes is that the, your peers, the people you respect, whose opinion you really value, are sometimes the ones telling you not to do something or are laughing at you or thinking you're being foolish uh, or, or, or um, much too careless, but, but that's not true, you know, or, or being irresponsible. But the fact is, if you believe in something and you have a passion for it, you just have to persist and, and you just have to uh, keep at it even if you fail. So follow your passion. Follow your passion, but also believe in yourself, you know, just really believe in yourself. Great. Thank you so much, Keith. I really appreciate your time. Thank you.